What is up, Nephilim? This is the Chick coming at you with another Diablo 4 leveling guide. Today we are going to be talking about the Blood Surge Necromancer, which is kind of fun and kind of interesting. But before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we are going to give away a copy of Diablo 4 or a video game of your choice. The way to enter is to be subscribed to the channel and like and comment on your favorite Diablo video. More comments and likes, more entries to the uh, giveaway, so make sure you're out there doing it. Anyway, let's hop right into it. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, I normally play the summoner build, and this has just been interesting because it's it's crazy AOE. Um, so we're going to grab Reap, uh, Ethereal Scythe. When you hit something with it, you get damage reduction. We're going to be in melee a lot. Enhanced Reap. If you hit an enemy with Reap and it dies within two seconds, you gain 30% attack speed, which is amazing. And then we're going to grab Acolyte's Reap because it's going to spawn a corpse every four seconds. Um, then we're going to grab Blood Surge. Then we're going to grab... Uh, so Blood Surge, draw blood from nearby enemies, dealing 20% damage, and then make a Blood Nova. Its damage is increased by 10% per enemy drained up to 50%, which makes AoE, AoE harder, AoE, AoE, pew, pew. Uh, blood Surge heals you for your maximum life while drawing blood for enemies. If four or more enemies are drawn, you heal for an additional 2.5%, which is amazing. And then we're going to do um, Paranormal Blood Surge. Uh, if an enemy damaged by Blood Surge Nova while you are healthy, you gain one stack of overwhelming blood. When you have five stacks, your next Blood Surge overpowers. Overpower damage is nasty. We love overpowering. So that is going to bring us down here to Blood Mist. Disperse into a bloody mist, becoming immune for three seconds. Your movement speed is reduced, and you periodically heal for 5% of your um, maximum life, which is awesome. Enhanced blood mist. Casting a skill that overpowers reduces the cooldown of blood mist by two seconds. Hey, we were just talking about that. And we're going to do ghastly blood mist. It leaves behind a corpse every one second, so you can use this to generate some corpses. And then we are going to grab corpse explosion. Uh, detonate a corpse. Deal damage. Enhanced Corpse Explosion increases its radius, and then we are going to go down here and grab um, Blighted Corpse Explosion to leave the dot on the ground because it is more damage. And then from there, we are going to start getting some of the uh, passives. So Grim Harvest, consuming a corpse generates essence, fueled by death, um, you, de you deal increased damage after um, getting a corpse, which is amazing. Then we're gonna put one point in a corpse tendrils, pulls everything in, deals damage, stuns them for three seconds. It's amazing. Um, enhanced corpse tendrils, slows them, and then we're gonna do played corpse tendrils, which makes them vulnerable. Then we are going to put one point into gruesome mending, and then we're gonna put one point into coalesced blood while healthy. Your blood skills deal 6% increased damage, gruesome mending, while below 50% life, you gain more healing. And then we are going to put two more points into Coalesced Blood. Um, and then we are going to put three points into Drain Vitality. It's going to fortify you when you lucky hit um, for 8% of your base life. Tides of Blood, your blood skills deal extra overpower damage, even more if you are healthy. And then we are going to put three points into Inspiring Leader. If you have been healthy for at least four seconds, you gain increased damage and attack speed. And then we are going to grab Rathma's Vigor. Increase your maximum life by 10% after being healthy for 12 seconds. Your next blood skill overpowers. And then we're going to put three points into Death's Defense, which is right here. Your minions cannot lose more than 30% of their maximum life from a single attack, which is amazing. And at this point, we're just going back and putting in some uh, some passives that we did not fill out while we were up here. So we are going to put uh, two points into Death's Embrace. Close enemies take more damage from you and deal less damage to you. We're going to put three points into Death's Reach. You deal increased damage to distant enemies. That is a no-brainer because we're not always going to be melee range. Just pretty often. Um, we're going to put one point into Unliving Energy. That just opens up so we can put three points into Imperfectly Balanced. Your core skills cost more essence but deal more damage. Um, unliving Energy gives you more 
Essence by three, um, Hued Flesh, your damage has up to 12% chance to create a corpse. We like making extra corpses. Um, and then obviously, as you get the opportunity or if you need to move down the tree, you can put more points in the Blood Surge. Um, and then we are going to put more points into Corpse Explosion, all right? And that's gonna finish you out at level 50. It's gonna make it where you can start farming. And let me show you what the build does. So it's super easy, right? Um, you get your dudes up and you run around. I do not have any of the legendaries for this. None of the powers, right? So this is me just uh, just just going with nothing. Um, yeah, it is just strong. As long as like it's it's just strong. There is no as long as it is literally just strong. Um, yeah, just it's it's silly. Um, yeah. The AoE is really good. Um, I mean, it's just good. Like, there's no... Yeah. It's just strong. Womp. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, you just... Um, as long as you are... Oh, look. Alright, uh, yeah, so we just are using our corpses. We're gonna use our tendrils. We're gonna pull them in. Um, we're going to blow them up, and then we are going to continue to blow them up, and use our tendrils, and, uh, yeah, spend your essence on Blood Boys, and your, um, yeah, you just win. It's so strong, and it's so easy to play. It's literally Builder's Fender, and, like, I mean, you're seeing me just destroy these elites, right? Like, it's, it's not a oh hey you're you're just doing the thing or whatever like i'm literally deleting them like it's not like we're struggling and we're on world tier two here right like we're rolling through this easy on world tier two if you're trying to speed run obviously put it on world tier one and just laugh your way to 50 or whatever but like yeah it's super easy and you just continue to just pop everything and then consuming corpses gives you back resource and and just it just fuels itself and it's just probably one of the strongest leveling builds that I have tried to play so far and all right so here are two count them two uh, elites here um, we just pop them down we're gonna you know buff up our dudes oh hey look let's just uh right click mm, yeah they just got ripping pepperoni anyway I should show you just how strong this build is um, yeah play this one guys it's super good for leveling it's super quick it's super straightforward to play like it's a little more active than doing the other things but like yeah knock it out and then you know obviously it just gets stronger as you get more items but uh yeah Catch you guys in the next one, and uh, happy hunting for those legendaries, guys.